Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. A 13-year-old is now charged with murder in the shooting death of a 12-year-old boy in York County. Well, this is a major development today. Let's get right to our Sonica Bargo, who was at the DA's news conference. Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, the district attorney Dave Sunday is charging 13-year-old Nolan Grove with third-degree murder in the death of 12-year-old Kane Highland last month. We're able to share Grove's name because he's being charged as an adult, and we've learned a lot more about what police say happened that day. Accordingly, Nolan Grove, age 13 of Red Lion, was charged this morning with murder of the third degree. A murder charge. These charges were recommended in a presentment by the grand jury. In the shooting death of 12-year-old Kane Highland, 13-year-old Nolan Grove is also facing charges of involuntary manslaughter, firearm-related charges, and several counts of reckless endangerment. The testimony of numerous witnesses and evidence to include video footage. On April 1st, state police were called to First Avenue in Red Lion. According to court documents, they say they found Highland's body and one bullet casing. One witness who says they spent the day with both boys and saw the shooting told investigators Grove had been playing with the gun and had pointed it at Highland and two other girls earlier in the day. The witness also said Grove was making comments about Highland's mom and Highland repeatedly told him to stop. Investigators say a similar exchange happened around 8.30 p.m. That's when witnesses say Grove shot Highland in the back. I want to start by expressing how sorry I am to the families of Kane Highland for their indescribable loss. One witness also told police they saw Grove get the gun out of his father's safe. Investigators later found a gun in that safe matching the bullet casing found near Highland's body. At this point, the father is not being charged with a crime. York County District Attorney Dave Sunday says Grove is being charged as an adult because the crime warranted the count of third degree murder. That could send Grove to prison for up to 40 years if he's convicted. We understand the gravity of our decision and we stand by it as what is required in the interest of justice. According to court records, Grove was arraigned this morning. A judge denied bail and ordered Grove be held at a juvenile treatment facility. In the newsroom, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.